Welcome back guys today we'll be learning about mesh analysis or loop analysis so the mesh analysis is based on Kirchhoff's voltage law and we use mesh analysis to find currents in the branches so uh, thus this mesh analysis is comparatively easier to use in those circuits which have voltage sources so to use mesh analysis first we need to learn the procedures the procedures so uh, number one first we need to convert all current sources to voltage sources next we need to assign or make loop currents we need to draw all loop currents in clockwise direction so next then we need to uh, assign values then we need to identify register values register voltage drops is voltage drop either plus or minus direction according to the loop current so this now for voltage sources we have to also do the same voltage sources need to, need to be assigned according to correct polarity then we apply KVL in each loop we use KVL in each loop to find the currents to find individual branch currents find branch currents and at last we solve the equation and we get all the required answers so so to understand this let us take us a f example suppose we have a circuit like this we need to find out the current supply to the battery so for the first loop we consider the current is passing through the battery is I1 and for second it is I2 and it is taken in clockwise direction so now we need to apply KVL in loop 1 suppose this is loop 1 so using KVL we get KVL in loop 1 we get 8 I1 plus 20 plus I2 minus I1 no, no I1 minus I2 times 4 plus 10 I1 is equals to 0 so this will be 22 I1 minus 4 I2 equals to 20 11 I1 equals to equals to 20 11 I1 minus 2 I2 equals to 10 I2 equals to 10 11 i1 plus 10 upon 2 so consider it equation 1 now applying kvl in loop 2 so loop 2 this is our loop 2 so we get uh, 5 i2 plus 4 i2 plus i2 minus i1 times 4 minus 20 equals to 0 so so minus 4 i1 plus 13 I2 equals to 0 so this is equation 2 now we will substitute I2 in equation 2 we get minus 4 I1 plus 13 into 10 plus 11 I1 upon 2 minus 20 so solving this we get I1 as minus 0.667 amperes and substituting the values we get I2 is equals to 10 plus 11 minus 0.667 upon 2 this we get as 1.33 ampere so the net current through battery is we see that net current should be I2 minus I1 in the direction 
I2 minus I1 so this will be 1.33 minus of minus 0 0.667 this in turn is equals to 1.997 ampere so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you